First Baptist. I want to tell you about something that's coming up this, this coming up week that's real exciting, and it's called Missions Fest or Missions Festival. We've been doing it for a few years now, but it's a great time of our church because it's a time to reflect and remember what God has called us to, but also to celebrate uh, all that God has done in and through us. You see, as First Baptist Enterprise, we are all called to be missionaries. In fact, if you look back at, at Matthew 28, that's what we call the Great Commission. This is after Jesus rose from the dead and before he ascended to heaven. He said, All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and teaching them everything that I commanded you, and then he says, and I will be with you until the end of the age. Now, what, what he's saying right there is that we are to all make disciples. That's not just for a select few. That's anyone who calls on the name of Jesus. You are not only forgiven of sin, but you're called uh, to, to be a disciple maker. You're sent by Jesus. He, Jesus brings us radically in and he sends us radically out to shape the nations for the glory of Christ. And he calls us corporately as a church to do that, and he calls us individually to do that. And so there are three components in disciple making, and that is going, baptizing, and teaching. And so everyone needs to be going. And that simply means to be intentional about, uh, about making Jesus known, letting your light shine before men, being salt and light in, in this world, uh, uh, carrying out the character of Christ, Jesus talked a lot about caring for orphans and widows and the least of the the least of these, uh, caring out um, uh, love to to the most vulnerable and speaking out uh, on behalf of the marginalized. And we need to do that. We reflect the character of Christ as we go and we we do that. But we're intentional about uh, you know just looking for people to pour into. And then secondly, it says baptizing. Now that implies evangelism. Uh, so we call people to faith and repentance. We, we, we introduce them to Jesus. And, and we're not uh, unclear about the fact that we're all sinners and we deserve the eternal punishment of God. But through Jesus Christ, we can be not only forgiven of sins, but given the hope of eternal life. And then lastly, teaching. You know, everyone to some extent is called to be a teacher. And that means that we must study our Bible. We must know theology. We must lean in to what the Word says so that we can regurgitate it, so we can teach it. Uh, one of the areas that that happens is in the home. So uh, your spouse or, or your children, you're supposed to pour into them. Uh, another area is just look in your neighborhood or workplace, and you can look for, for maybe opportunities to start a Bible study. And you may not feel like ready, but, but one of the things that I've learned is that uh, you're never going to completely feel ready. You're always going to feel a little um, unequipped and just a little hesitant to do it, but you just get out there. You put yourself out there, and, and as you teach and as you pour into others, it's amazing how God uses that to, to sharpen you. And, uh, and when questions come your way, one of the greatest things you can say is, I'm not sure, but let me get back with you. And go study. Go study the Word. So First Baptist, we're called to all these things. And what we're going to do over the next week is we're going to hear from different missionaries that's doing that very same thing that we're all called to do. Missionaries that we're sending, missionaries that we're connected with, church planters that we're uh, supporting uh, so that we can celebrate with them all that God is doing. And we can be reminded that we are all called to the Great Commission.